Good evening and thanks for watching. I'm Adriana de Alba. We have a lot going on in our area area, so let's jump right in. This just in today, the Virginia Department of Emergency Management confirmed that one of their employees has been diagnosed with COVID-19. The department has notified the people who may have been exposed. Right now, there are 45 coronavirus or COVID-19 cases in Virginia. Over 400 people have been tested. The first death was reported yesterday in the, on the peninsula, and there are eight reported cases in James City County. We all have a personal responsibility in this effort to prevent coronavirus from spreading. That's the message Governor Ralph Northam emphasized during a press conference a couple of hours ago. The governor announced new safety measures that are now in place to try to contain the situation. It comes as health officials confirmed the first COVID-19 death on the peninsula yesterday. Here's the latest. In a push to prevent further spread of COVID-19 in Virginia, Governor Ralph Northam has announced new safety measures. We ask people to use common sense. The governor issuing a statewide ban on large gatherings of more than 100 people. All local governments on the peninsula are closed for the next two weeks. It comes after health officials confirmed the first COVID-19 death in Virginia. The death on the peninsula was a man in his 70s. A cluster of COVID-19 cases on the peninsula bringing a heightened emphasis on social distancing. We all want to end this pandemic. And everything we hear from the experts tells us that slowing its spread is critical to keeping more Virginians healthy and ensuring what we do does not overload our health care system. State Health Commissioner Dr. Norm Oliver says health officials are investigating COVID-19 cases on the peninsula. He says the first death is concerning. Was we could not trace where that, that person was exposed to the virus. Health officials say Virginia has the capacity to test up to 470 people at this point. A state lab has up to 600 tests right now. More tests are on the way and are expected to arrive next week. Meanwhile, the governor emphasizing the importance of staying home, remote working, and avoiding large crowds. We can get through this together, but it is everyone's, everyone's responsibility to help keep ourselves and each other safe and healthy. Cities included in Governor Northam's order to close include Hampton, James City County, Newport News, Williamsburg, Pocosin, and York County. Trash services as well as police and fire operations will continue to operate as normal.